Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're making a cedar planter box. This was recycled wood from an, a deck. They didn't like the deck, so they changed it. And they took out this uh, wood. It had paint on one side, but it was really nice on the other side. So I decided to make some planters for my cousin. It was actually his wood. And uh, it was easy to make, uh, easier than most people think. I just made the boxes. So if you can see here, just square it off, like empty uh, boxes. I squared them up and I made um, I believe I made four for each planter uh, three for the top and one for the bottom uh, this is just some methods of showing you how I squared it up and I held them together and you know uh, I screw them down uh, make sure you that you pre-drill first you don't want any splitting but keep that in mind the new screws I've gotten in uh, don't need that so that's a future video I'll show you but anyways on this video here just make sure everything was squared up and made it multiple times started doing the legs and um, legs were easy just basically fold them over the my bench and screw them together like an L shape and I did send them down anywhere that it was exposed. I sent it down. That was a bit tedious, but uh, it worked out good. And there was a lot of paint, but uh, I made it look like new. Uh, with a little bit of patience, is not a problem. So basically, I got the box. And so basically, just got the box, glued up the corners there, put on the first leg, and proceeded to do the same for the other three. Once I got that, I got the other ones and I slid them down put some glue on there slid them in screw them down and repeated the process three times for the top and then for the bottom I just used some spacers and then I did the bottom part before I proceeded with the bottom part I added in the lips for the shelf on the bottom so I just basically some scrap pieces you know uh, I cut down, I think, one inch by one inch and just uh, nailed them on the side. And remember to put it upside down, don't screw it up, and just slid them in. Um, there's another box being made so you can get a better idea. So one, two, uh, that's the bottom part. So I did um, use three, and then the bottom part has the lip. And then for the other one at the very bottom, I did the same too for the shelving. If you can see it there, the spacer. Now the legs were a bit long. We had to shorten it up, which is fine. Um, I wasn't sure. And in the process, uh, one of the lumber pieces fell on my head. Knocked some sense into me. That's what I was talking about. See, the bottom now is ready. For, and both bottoms are ready for boards. I then cut the boards to size and just basically just dropped them in and screwed them down. I did not glue them. Uh, I did screw them down. I think I glued one of them. I didn't think it was necessary. So there at the bottom is uh, the boards. And then at the inside, I left the middle out on purpose. And you'll see what, why. By putting some mesh there, it prevents the dirt from going through. I then lined up the sides and the bottom with plastic. Uh, it's in, Some people don't like plastic. I just like it to keep it away from the wood. And then I just cut holes on the bottom where the grill is. I then went ahead and used some, uh, what do they call it, cheesecloth or for the plant. And that keeps the dirt from going through. Because even though the, it can come out of the plastic. And then right there what you're seeing is a drain. So I made just a little angle drain out for the excess water to come out of. And uh, you can, I have uh, mine facing onto another planter so the water keeps going and you you can put it anywhere really there's a better view of it from the top and the draining system works out really good um, like I said you don't have to put plastic I did um, you can use one or the other uh, but I prefer the plastic to keep it off the sides anyways and then the, the cloth so the dirt doesn't go through the plastic Overall, there's the, the type of fabric I used. Stop squeeze, but I used it more for the dirt not going through. 
there you have it. And then the, the top was easy. I just put some wood on top, uh, cut on some 45s, made like a frame, screwed those down. Uh, there's the bottom again, just uh, another view of the drainage. And there they are, upside down, ready for delivery to my cousin's house. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.